Hey there, how are we doing? I've got an interesting setup in here today. King post off the old man's JCB, totally shagged. We've recently lined, bored and bushed back through the main pivot, but the slew pins are just an abomination. Um, I can't get the line bore in there because of this casting here. So I made this extendable boring head on a bar. Um, it's 40 taper blank, uh, machined that down to 35 mil, um, a 50 mil piece of VN 16, um, bored for a close fit on the 35 mil. Um, I've got a couple um, grub screws holding that on. Um, this grub screw here, um, that's for holding the coaxial indicator. Um, you can take the boring head off, he unscrews off of there, pop the coax in there, I'll put a shot of um, centering it in there, but um, I was just waiting for everybody to be out of the workshop so I could put some torque in on here. Um, we're going to bore these out to 65 mil. Um, the pin size is 55, um, so we'll bore these out to 65, um, make some sleeves up on the lathe and, and see if we can work out a way to press them in. Creeping up on our 65 mil. We're at 62.95 at the moment. So hopefully three passes. We should should be somewhere close. Um, once I've got a couple more passes down, we'll. We'll start being a bit more accurate, but just for the moment, um, we're guessing. I can't. Um, this boring head is is one mil per revolution of the dial, but all of the numbers have worn off of it, so we just have to um, guess and pray, which is okay. And we'll put an indicator on there to set it up properly once we're um, once we're round there. Um, let's pop you off the stand. This is the this is the mill. It's my Toz Curin mill. Um, it's the first time I've had it folded up quite this far to try and do this. It's a Bridgeport style. Um, just going to double check that I did him back up. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll do another pass.
a small amount of chatter, but um, to give you some idea. From the spindle, we're 350 mil of um, stick out on that boring head. So um, if we can get through without really fucking it up, I'll be happy. Um, I did the other side before I started filming it, so and that went okay. Um, got that within three hundredths of what I was aiming for, so hundredths of a mil that is. Um, hopefully the um, hopefully I can maintain that to this. Moga Mini Call over there, which cost a fortune to get over here in England. But it's a good tool, it's worth the money. Um, nice being able to have the air blast. So if you can see on the camera, it's ejecting most of the chips out the back here. Um, stops it getting fouled up. The, the back side of the boring head it uh, sticks out just a bit too much. Um, don't have very much clearance for chips between the between the uh, cut surface and the, the boring head once it goes through. So we've got to try and keep everything relatively clear. It's the first time I've tried doing a job like this on this mill, so approaching with maximum caution. There's quite a lot of spring to compensate for in this uh, arrangement, which is why it, we get a bit of chatter on the way out because the tool load comes off. Just getting into this next cut here. There's some quite bad hard spots in this casting. Um, hopefully everything will stay in one bit until we're um, on size. Taking uh, one mil passes at the moment, half mil depth of cut. About as much as I want to try with this setup. CCM PO6.
sleeved.